All right, Huawei's announcement for all of their products just went down like an hour or two ago. So we're going to go through all of that. But uh, let me give you a hot take real quick. These glasses right here, can't wait to replace them with some of those Gentle Monster uh, Smart Eyewear or Eyewear Smart Glasses. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Uh, clearly, I am not in Paris right now. Uh, this time around, didn't really work out for me to be able to go to the Huawei P30 Pro, but also all of the other products launch that they just had. Uh, but it's all good. Uh, I'm still going to be getting a review unit of the Huawei P30 Pro at some point, so you can look forward to content on that particular device. Uh, speaking of which, you probably saw all of the coverage that's been going up on YouTube and all over the internet, so you probably know everything there is to know about these phones, so let me just give you some of my hot takes on it. Now, as far as the Huawei P30 and the P30 Pro are concerned, the footage that you're seeing in this video was provided by Thunder E over at Board at Work. So many thanks to you, Thunder E. Thank you so much for letting me use some of this footage. That way I can visually show some of the things that I want to react about. Obviously, the main thing that I want to talk about is the 4200 milliamp hour battery. Uh, Huawei devices have been known for great battery life. And to be honest, I've been getting great battery life on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So those are probably going to be the two devices that we really put up against one another and really find out which one might be able to last longer. But then again, the P30 Pro in particular is incredibly stacked. There are so many features in here. I've already talked about a few of them, uh, but you also even get an IR blaster on here. So kind of get a retro throwback of a feature that we uh, miss in a lot of smartphones. And now it's finally back in a flagship P30 Pro. All right, let's get into the cameras. Now, clearly it's all about the photography when it comes to these phones, and both phones have the same core triple camera lineup. You have a regular um, high-powered main sensor along with a wide-angle lens, and then you have this telescopic zoom. Now, the thing is the telescopic zoom on the P30 Pro is the one that can get you an optical zoom of 5X, but then with the hybrid system that they have introduced into this, uh, you are able to get up to 10X zoom without any loss in detail. Then you can get all the way up to like 50x or something like that. This is a question I pondered back at MWC when we were at this Oppo event and the only announcement they really had was um, the telescopic zoom, uh, which is basically the same technology that you're seeing in the P30 Pro and in the P30. 2x optical zoom, what we've usually had in smartphones up until this point, uh, generally is a little bit useless because you could just step forward one good step and that's 2x optical zoom already. Uh, but now we have 5x, 3x, now up to 10 or even 50x digital zoom. Uh, and that allows you to get to places is that you just can't reach on your own. So that makes a lot of sense. And that's, of course, the whole idea behind Zoom. But now we have it in a high quality uh, format on a smartphone. Coupled with all of this, the long exposure photography, of course, you already had the night mode on the P20 and then on the Mate 20 uh, that already did a really great job. And it was kind of the benchmark for what all the other manufacturers started to introduce in their smartphones. Another thing to keep in mind is that all of those photos from the P30 Pro were done at 30 seconds. So that's one little detail that I think should be uh, highlighted here. So even if you don't really need a tripod, you're still standing there for a long time. So kind of bear that in mind. Uh, these photos are not going to be the easiest things to get, but but it is possible on the P30 Pro, and that's the point. All right, so I'm just reacting to the smartphone right now. Again, you're probably seeing all of these videos come out on YouTube over the last number of hours. Uh, so go ahead and enjoy those. Come on back to this one and we can talk about the accessories. Uh, there are a couple of them that I really wanted to touch upon. Uh, one that I thought was a pretty ingenious design. One that I'm also a little bit curious about is the Freelace headphones. These look a lot like the OnePlus Bullets wireless. They have the same general um, design to them. However, one of the earpieces literally comes off. <laughs> <laughs> that way it exposes a USB-C uh, connector that you can then plug into your phone, for example, in order to charge it up. Uh, after only five minutes, you can get a really quick charge done and have four hours of playback. That's awesome. But I wonder if people are going to accidentally pull that ear off because obviously it's something that can disconnect. So I don't know if it's going to be that big of a problem for most people, but it's kind of interesting to me that if you kind of yank it a little bit, it could come apart. The Huawei Watch GT I'm already a fan of. If you haven't seen my review yet, you can make sure to view that right now. The links are appearing in the card above or in the description down below. Uh, but one thing I really like about this new edition of it, or rather this updated edition, is the 42 millimeter ceramic case. Uh, I'm not um, really against large form smartwatches, but it's nice to see them actually shrinking down more. All right, Gentle Monster. Um, the presentation itself was really interesting because this is exactly what I talk about when it comes to smartwatches. We went way too far with smartwatches. We wanted to have screens everywhere, and that's not 
something you want to have on your wrist, or at least that's something that we figured out later on. That's why I'm wearing a hybrid smartwatch. This is an example of why I'm excited about the Gentle Monster Huawei Smart Eyewear. It's because this is a good looking watch. It happens to have smart functions. This is something that's always on my face. This is always something that I need to have in order to even see in my daily life. So to inject smart capabilities into something like that, that is truly exciting and it's not injecting too much into an already established form factor. It's crazy too because I have these kickstarted smart glasses that I've been waiting on for a long, long time. And it's crazy to me to think that I fund, I helped fund that. And then in the about year, maybe even a year and a half of those products still not coming out to market. So many other companies like Bose have come out with their own version of these glasses that already do everything that that one was supposed to do. Now glasses like these that have dual microphones so you can actually take calls and then be able to listen to music or any type of audio, including calls via speakers that point down to your ears. Would I use these in place of actual earbuds? Maybe not, but in a pinch, they are right there for me exactly when I need them and they're not meant to replace actual earphones or earbuds, which is why earphones and earbuds were part of the announcement today. While the smartphone might be the most powerful thing that we have uh, on our person, in this case, in our pockets, all of the things that we might wear, all of the things that we might have aside from that are supposed to enhance that experience. That's the reason why they're called accessories. So it's great to see that Huawei are kind of pivoting those products to make them enhance your experience rather than try to replace them altogether. That's why the Huawei Watch GT is super minimalistic in terms of what it can do. And that's why the Gentle Monster Smart Eyewear uh, are really exciting for me. All right, in any case, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, just my reactions to the Huawei announcement today. I do have a little bit of footage that I'm able to show here, but of course, I'm going to do my best to get my hands on these products uh, once review units are going to go out. And from what I can tell, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting a P30 Pro. So look forward to different videos from that, including the full review and of course, the real world camera test where I use the phone exclusively as my way of documenting an entire day, maybe out here in LA or maybe somewhere else. Uh, but in any case, look forward to those videos. Um, get on over to that subscribe button and hit that bell over on the side so you can keep up with all of that and more. Uh, from there, again to the comment sections. Let me know what you think about everything Huawei announced today. And before my next video, I'll just go ahead and remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody. Actually, in my case, it's Bulletproof Coffee because that announcement happened super early. It was like 6 a.m. in California when the announcement occurred. So early morning coffee for me right now.